What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. As you guys know, I do work overnights doing security at the casino. And today we're gonna to be talking about the effects of working night shift. Let's get right into this. So the first thing that for you, if you are gonna be working nights, is your sleep schedule is going to be completely messed up. Now some people that I work with, their sleep schedule is after they're done work, they'll go home and sleep a full eight hours and then they'll stay up for a couple hours and then go straight to work. Other people that I work with, they will go home, stay up a couple hours, then sleep a full eight hours before waking up to go to work. I do it a little bit differently, but that's just because whenever I started working there, I was over an hour away, so I needed that extra time because it was an hour drive in and an hour drive home. So how my sleep schedule is, is after work, I'll sleep about four hours. I'll wake up, enjoy a little bit of my afternoon, do anything that I need to do, especially for my reselling business. And then I'll go back to bed for about five o'clock, sleep another five hours, then get up and get ready and go to work. So my sleep schedule is split in half. I sleep four hours, stay up for about five, and then sleep for another four hours. And other people have it where they sleep the whole way through. Regardless of what your sleep schedule is and whether you sleep the whole eight hours or you split it up like I do, on your days off, it is a huge pain in the ass because your first day off doesn't even feel like a day off because you're extremely exhausted and all your body wants to do is sleep because it knows that you do not have work that night, so you just wanna sleep the entire day. So whenever you have stuff to do, it's extremely hard to get things done and be motivated on your first day off. The next thing that is a hassle with working overnights is scheduling appointments. Not only doctor's appointments, but appointments for your vehicle to have regular maintenance done is almost impossible on days that you work. Now for me, because I do split up my sleep, it is a little bit easier because I do have the afternoon where I can go to appointments and stuff like that. But for most people, it is really hard to do it on days that you work, which means that you have to go and make appointments on your off days, which is kind of a waste of your off days in my opinion. The next part that absolutely sucks is your eating schedule. Instead of having your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you're likely going to have your supper, lunch at work, and then something small after work that is kind of like a breakfast, but not really, because usually whenever I'm done work and in the morning, I don't want any breakfast food, I don't want any eggs or stuff like that, because at that time, that is more like my small supper. So usually I'll come home, I'll make something, or I'll have leftovers in the fridge, but your eating schedule is completely messed up when you're working overnights. The next thing is the main thing that I absolutely hate whenever it comes to working overnights, and that is how they do the holiday pay. Now, normally at a job, if you're gonna be working on the holiday and your place is open and you don't get the day off, if you're working, you get paid time and a half. Now, whenever you work overnights, if you want to get the full eight hours at time and a half, you must work the day before and the day of the holiday to get that eight hours at time and a half. Now, let me explain. So if you work the day before the holiday, whenever your shift starts, you're gonna be paid your regular pay, but once the clock straights midnight, from midnight to the end of your shift, that's what you get paid time and a half. Then when you go to work the next day, the day of the holiday, you get paid time and a half up until midnight, which to me sucks. If I start on a holiday, if I start at 10.30 at night, from 10.30 to the end of my shift, I should be paid time and a half for that entire thing because my shift did start on the holiday, but that's just not how at least my place does it, which I absolutely hate. The next thing that is very difficult to do is finding time and spending time with your friends and family. On days that you work, it's nearly impossible because you do need time to sleep, not only after your shift, but if you're going into work that night, you do need time to sleep to be able to go to work that night. So on days that you work, it's almost impossible. On your days off, for myself, I prefer having two days off back to back, preferably three all in a row, because your first day off is basically a write-off. You sleep all day, you're extremely exhausted and groggy. My parents live over an hour away, so usually the, if I'm off, the first day off, I don't plan on going to see them. Usually I do the second or the third day off if I get three in a row. The next thing that absolutely sucks whenever you're working overnights is booking time off. When you book a few days off or even a week off and you plan on going on a vacation, for example, you should always book the day before you plan on going on vacation because technically if you plan on booking a vacation starting, I don't know, August 20th, the 19th, 
they can schedule you an overnight shift. So technically, you're gonna be working up until seven in the morning, for example, of your first day off of the start of your vacation. So it extremely sucks. So if you plan on going on vacation from, let's say the 20th to the 27th, and you're taking a full week off, you should book off the 19th to the 27th because if you don't, they can schedule you the 19th and then you're gonna be working an overnights going into the 20th, which is your first day of your vacation. And the last thing that absolutely sucks, which I've already explained a couple times in this video, and that is whenever you only have two days off, it only feels like one day off because you wanna catch up on your sleep, you're extremely tired and groggy, which makes you not motivated to get anything done, which if you only have two days off, that only leaves you the second off day to actually feel like an off day. That's why I prefer having three days off in a row whenever it comes to me working overnights. Now for myself, I have been working overnights for three years now. I'm actually closer to the four year mark now. And after a while, working overnights does start to affect you. It starts to affect your lifestyle, your relationship with your partner. It starts to affect you physically. And right now I'm just really drained and it's really, really hard for me to continue going and working my overnight shifts. So I think in the future, I'm gonna be starting to look for a new job based on the fact that my body does not want me to do overnights anymore. It's extremely tough on the body. It's extremely tough on your health. So I just don't think overnights is something I want to continue doing for much longer. I think it's time for me to start looking for not necessarily a Monday to Friday, but something that I work during the day and then I have the evening and the night to sleep. A normal schedule and normal working schedule and life work balance compared to working overnights it is a lot more of a hassle whenever you are working overnight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me talking about the effects of working overnights, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.